Alright guys, it's going. Today I'm bringing you another Pokemon X and Pokemon Y Wi-Fi battle. And today I'm bringing you guys a battle against Darnell or I Dream Pokemon. His link will be in the description, so be sure to check that guy out. He is a really, really nice guy, and he's got some cool stuff. So I would highly recommend checking out his channel. And yeah, so I was on Shodown last night, I was talking to uh, Darnell, and it somehow led into a battle. So hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Actually, a pretty good battle, actually. It was, yeah, actually, actually, but it was pretty good. So hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Let's go over the teams real quick. Uh, I'm not bringing my usual team. I'm bringing uh, two new things that I usually don't bring, which is Greninja and Talonflame. But yeah, I brought the same team I played against Num Nexus with. So yeah, I figured that team worked pretty well. I'll use it here. And uh, Darnell has himself an Alakazam, Talonflame, Gudra, Rotom Wash, Gyarados, and Metagross. All threatening Pokemon, but... Been doing this for a minute now, so let's just get into the battle. Alright, so Darnell's gonna lead off with his Metagross, or Iron Pokemon's gonna lead off with his Metagross, as I'm gonna lead off with my Greninja. And not wanting to go for the Dark Pulse on the first turn, I do decide that I'm gonna go for the U-turn as he switches out, so I do get the switch initiative on that. Goes to Gudra, it was kind of an obvious switch because it would tank a Dark Pulse. And you're going to see, even though I'm modest, and I do have U-turn even though I'm modest, this uh, does decent amount of damage with no attack investment, so definitely running a special defensive Gudra, which makes sense, that is the common set, or at least not a physical defensive one like I have seen a couple of times. So, because I'm going to go to Mamoswine, and uh, he just sacks his Gudra first turn here, or second turn, because I go for the Icicle Crash, and that's obviously going to kill if U-turn did that much from a non-offensive Greninja, or non-physical like physical offensive Greninja, then an Ice Skull Crash from a fully invested Mammoth Swine with Life Orb is gonna run right through it. So that goes down on the second turn, which is great, and that just gives my Greninja a lot of free time, I guess, to go for attacks. Alright, so I'm gonna switch out here from my, uh, from my Mammoth Swine predicting the Hydro Pump, as he does decide to double, which is a good play on his part, and goes out into his Alakazam predicting my Venusaur, very good play on the Dream Pokemon's part by doing that, and I decided to Mega Evolve, um... I could have kept Venusaur for Rotom, really. I just didn't decide to do that, and I stay in, and I get taken out here by Psy Shock. Because this Venusaur is, uh, an offensive Venusaur, not a defensive one, or, like, some kind of defensive spread, it's all offensive, so... Do get taken out by that waste of Mega Venusaur, I don't even care that much, do a Micro Ninja. Which, uh, he was afraid of, he was very afraid of, because he constantly switched out from his Alakazam every time. Maybe he had nothing to hit me, but he decides to switch out anyway, and, uh, yeah, he goes for the U-turn. He does reveal that he does have something to hit me a little bit later, but it would really depend on my type. So anyway, go for the U-turn on the Metagross, and I decide I'm going to go back out into... I'm going to go out to my Donphan, yeah, I go to my Donphan, knowing that whatever this thing wants to do, Donphan is just going to take very well. As he's going to withdraw now and go out into his Rotom Wash, which was very predictable. And I believe I double switch out into my... Gr what do I go to? I go to my uh, my Gudra, predicting the Rotom Wash switch in. So yeah, I played a nice double there. And uh, I am able to take whatever he wants to go for, so he is forced to switch. And I believe he goes out into his Metagross, which I predict, and go for the Fire Blast. So you're seeing me here in full swing, mindset fully there, going for all the moves. And I do go for the Fire Blast on the Metagross. Do a hell of a lot of damage, and uh, he's gonna go for a bullet punch. Just get some re respectable damage off. Just a decent amount, considering I have like no, like I'm all HP and special defense and no physical defense. So get to take down with the Thunderbolt from that range of HP. I was pretty proud of that last few plays actually with the whole uh, Rotom Wash and uh, Don Fan switchings and stuff. So I'm gonna switch out now into my Greninja, I believe, predicting the focus or not focus the uh, Psy Shock on the Alakazam switching. As he does Mega Evolve, and this does give him Protein, and Protein, Alakazam, could be a problem. But, um, yeah, he does get the Protein, but he does go for the Side Shock, fortunately for me. I, again, he switches out, I'm pretty sure he could've went for, like, well, he has a move, you'll see it soon. But, yeah, he could've, he could've went for that, probably, you'll see it when it is later. Could've went for that, but he doesn't. I, I just go for a U-turn here, or go for Dark Pulse, actually, thinking he may stay in. Thinking he'll outspeed me, which he actually does outspeed me, I'm pretty sure, at Mega Alakazam. But anyway, Dark Pulse is going to do about half. Uh, I was kind of fearing the Brave Bird, so obviously I'm going to switch out here. As he predicts that very well, I was planning on sacking my Gudra. As I do go out to that while he goes to his uh, Alakazam, yet again, or his Mega Alakazam. So definitely have to sack my Gudra here. I do need to free switch out into my own Talonflame. 
so I can go for the Choice Bandit. Uh, Gale Wings Talon, or Gale Wings, Gale Wings Talon, Gale, Gale Wings Frayford. But here he does reveal Dazzling Beam, and I do actually manage to live, so I, it would have taken out my, uh, taken out my Greninja, I assume, but... Anyway, Dazzling Gleam, because he's a fairy type, because of protein, my Dragon Pulse does not hit, so that was an unfortunate series of events. I didn't expect him to have Dazzling Gleam, but he had it anyway. As I now go to my Talon Flame, I obviously threaten him with the Brave Bird, as I believe he goes into his uh, own Talon Flame. And here I go for the U turn. I was expecting the Rotom Wash switching, because Rotom Wash is the big check to Gale Wing's Talon Flame. But uh, he goes to his own Talon Flame, which is fine, because I do carry the Dawn Fan. So I am able to uh, take whatever hit he wants to go for. As I do switch out into my defensive Dawn Fan while he goes for the Flare Blitz. And I am going to take that considerably well. He is Choice Banded as well. So it does a very reasonable amount of damage. But he's at the range where Ice Shard is going to take him out. I do unfortunately miss the uh, Stone Edge. Which, it doesn't really matter. It would have been good to kill it on that turn I guess. But all I do here is like waste 1 PP on Ice Shard. So it makes no difference really. And I believe it does give me, like, extra leftovers recovery now that I missed. So, I mean, it kind of worked out for the best, in my opinion, that I missed that Stone Edge. Because I do get that extra 11 HP back. So, there he goes out into his Rotom. And I decide that I'm going to just sack my Dawnfen here, because I only needed it really for Talon Flame. And I can just get myself knocked out by a Hydro Pump. And that was fine. Because, uh, yeah, it didn't really matter too much. Go out now into my Greninja, and I'm going to go for the Dark Pulse, knowing that I outspeed it. And uh, that way I won't take too much damage from Thunderbolt, I think, but I do go for the Dark Pulse. Managed to get the flinch on the first turn, well, on the first Dark Pulse, which is great. Go for another Dark Pulse and bring it down to very low range of HP as he goes for a T-Bolt. And I do manage to live with a little bit of HP. Knock off another Dark Pulse and take out his Rotom Wash. So that was a... Yeah, it's a good thing I went for a Dark Pulse because I would have been water type otherwise. Well, I, I wouldn't have, but... Depending on what I went for, I could have really been hurt by that Thunderbolt or taken out by it. So go for Dark Pulse. Then the switch into Gyarados, and he makes a very questionable play here and goes for the Dragon Dance. I see no point in that. I do have a Gale Wings Talonflame. So I'm pretty much just going to hit something with the priority Brave Bird regardless. And uh, he's going to go for the Waterfall. He's going to take me out at 15 HP. And I do go out to my Talonflame. I believe it wasn't banded at this point. I banded it after the battle. I gave it a choice band after the battle, but yeah, he gets the Moxie Boost. As I go out now into my Talon Flame, and you're gonna see at that range of HP, Brave Bird's gonna kill the Gyarados, and that's pretty much gonna clinch me the match because he does have his Alakazam left, which obviously won't outspeed me because I have priority, and I am gonna be able to go for a uh, Brave Bird on that as well and knock that thing out straight from full HP. Good match here against Idrin Pokemon. Definitely go check his channel out. If you see him on Showdown, be sure to battle him or something. Um, yeah, just. Check the guy out, he's a pretty cool guy, and uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the battle. So, Brave Bird takes out Alakazam, and that is the game. Alright, so, I thank you guys for watching, hopefully you have enjoyed this battle. If you did enjoy the battle, it'd be great if you could give it a like, share it around, and whatever. But yeah, that's pretty much it, so I will see you guys for more shortly enough. Catch you guys then.